Hey! Max. They have guns. Hey! Hey! Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's go. I'm leaving you here. Wait, wait. wait. See you, see you there. Trevor, the boy is still alive. Okay, I'm leaving you here. Yes, he's alive. Let, let, let's take him to the hospital. To where? That cops to the hospital. Not me and you. I'm leaving you. Trevor, what is wrong with you? Listen, we owe it as a duty to God and humanity to save this boy's life. Abia, Oga, more than one nature to win. Don't allow me to do my own code. You could go, Mark Weber. Contact your bar. I'm leaving you. You are a wallaby. All right, fine. Go. Well, I, I cannot leave this boy here to die. If you don't want to leave, I'm leaving you here now. Go. Go behind you. How is my father doing? Ah, the doctor is in a better position to make a categorical statement on that. Why? You can't talk? Calm down, my princess. You know his majesty is hypertensive before the unfortunate incident. I said, how is my father doing? Will you say something before I strangle you? How is my father doing? Don't do he, he, he suffered massive heart attack. <laughs> what? what? Ten minutes. These people are detaining the wrong person, Michelle. So who is the right person? I don't know. I don't know anything about this whole charade, Michelle. How could you? How could you? And Ngozi's son? How could you do this? I know you. I know you much more than that would ever know you and I know that you have been pushing up an act pretending to agree with that while you're dead, nothing evil and sitting on avenging Norman and Jim Moses but why putting an innocent boy's life in the process? Why? Why now? I swear to you, Michelle I know nothing about what happened to Chukuma Where is Chukuma, Angel? Where is he, God damn it! I don't know, Michelle. I don't know. I can't believe how, how stupid and, and foolish I've been raising a false allegation against my own father. Good Lord. I can't believe I endangered an innocent boy's life in the process. I do not believe that. For God's sake, Michelle, you're suspecting the wrong person. Jesus, I'm innocent. Believe me, I'm innocent. Say father to be alive would not give him the kind of shock that you gave him today. You mean that my father is dead? Are you saying that my father is dead? <laughs> oh God, I didn't 
the boy you brought here to us. Uh, he's an accident victim. I, I don't know who he is. But don't worry about the, the, the bills. Once it's not above 5,000, I, I, I can pay for it. Um, it's in Tabia, it's 3,500 Naira. And that is not why I called you. He'll be discharged to you in a matter of minutes. Because miraculously, he did not sustain any serious injuries in the accident to warrant long hospitalization. But there is a problem. Uh, doctor, I just told you I will pay. <laughs> like I told you, it's not a money problem. I don't know what happened to him before or during the accident. He's having a serious memory problem. I, I, I don't understand. The boy you brought is suffering from total memory loss. He can't remember anything about himself, not even his own name. I still can't remember your name. Alright, wh what about your parents? Your friends or where you live, anything? The, the people you were in the car with before the accident, who are they? Accident? Where did it happen? Oh, what have I gotten myself into, oh God? Knowing nothing about how this boy got mixed up with armed guys. How do I go to the police or even to the media without getting myself into some big trouble? Oh, why? Why should it be today that I'm traveling to sort my shattered life out? Now I don't have a job or even money for myself. And here I am in a strange city with a total stranger who cannot remember anything about himself. Oh, I wish I had listened to the driver. Too late for regrets right now. Too late. Well, I have done the best I could under the circumstance to help him. Now I have to leave him behind and move on. Let me just take him deeper into the town and abandon him there. Let someone else take over from where I stopped. 
forgive me, God. I have no choice. Where are you going? Do you know anywhere? Let's just be going. Greetings, elders of our kingdom. You're welcome. As I said earlier, Inspector Sani is unavoidably absent. My name is Detective Onyema. In line with the demand of this council that we thoroughly investigate the kidnapping and drugging of Little Prince Chukuma, we invited men of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency to take care of the side consigning the drugging of the boy so that we could concentrate on finding him and his abductors. Our presence here is necessitated by an interesting discovery they made in their findings. With us here is Dr. Tony, a narcotic expert from the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, to explain further. Dr. Tony, please. Thank you. My elders, I greet you. My princess, as he has told you, we have made far-reaching and interesting discovery on this case. When the police invited us into this case, we took samples of the cocaine the boy was drugged with, smells of which we found in His Majesty's car for laboratory analysis. We discovered that the drugs found in Princess um, Angel's room and the one found on the car are of two different strains. That means the drug that was used in drugging the boy are not the same. On further investigation, the fingerprint, we did not find Princess Angel's fingerprint in any of the substances. Rather, the maid that we suspect to have kidnapped the boy, her fingerprint was all over the place. In the course of um, interrogating Princess Angel, she told us that we were not going to find any fingerprint on the bag because in the first place, the bag does not belong to her. The maids in this royal household confirmed to us that the handbag belongs to that suspect maid who is now at large. So officer, what you are telling us here is that Princess Angel is a victim of a setup. That's yes right. or no? That is the only reasonable conclusion we could reach. <sighs> and you call yourselves investigators, right? On what basis did you rule out conspiracy or even outright manipulation of the poor girl by her? Michelle, I am innocent. Angel, how did you do this to these buffoon officers? Sex? My God, Michelle, I am not a prostitute. Then how did you manipulate officers of the law to play dumb with such a serious issue? I take serious exception to that comment, my princess. With due respect, that's a serious allegation you cannot substantiate. That's right. So is that why you decided to mess the case of, oh, so I cannot substantiate my doubts if I have any? Well, you are entitled to your own conclusions. But in this case, we have absolutely no evidence to continue to detain your sister or even prosecute her. Okay. And on orders of this Inspector General of Police, we have set her free. And if you don't mind, Excuse us. Elders of our land, the prince is still missing. All because of this Jezebel here, standing right before us. Michelle, I didn't shut up. Elders of our land, 
the police have failed us. Prince Chukuma, the royal kingdom, and all the people of Ozara land. Are we going to follow suit or ensure that justice is done? Well, we stand for justice, princess. Mm. What do we do to her? Even though she's my blood sister, if you ask me, I would suggest total banishment from the kingdom for life. Well, in matters such as this, <laughs> uh, the decision lies with us, members of the royal cabinet of Ozara Kingdom, in the absence of His Majesty. Our decision is that Princess Angel be banished for life immediately. Do I speak your minds, elders? So be it, so be it. No, my elders, oh. Ah, no! <laughs> my elders. Michelle, why are you doing this to me? Why did you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I caused everything. You caused what? It all started with my stupid allegation over mom and Auntie Ngozi's death. And I allowed my anger over the circumstances surrounding the birth of Chukuma. I allowed it blind me. 
one day it was too late i didn't know what i was doing i'm sorry father please i walked into her hands or even put the wicked idea into her head dad i didn't know she was capable of such evil and i'm sorry please forgive me and i promise from this moment that i'm going to do everything to make you happy once again without my son back in this house can you yes i can and i'm going to start by telling you to start living with the assumption that chukuma is alive and safe and he will be back in this kingdom in god's time dad amen oh amen and for saying that you are forgiven thank you thank you dad Tell me honestly, do you think the decision to banish your sister Angel was a good one? Yes. Don't you have any feelings for your sister? Dad, Chikuma is my brother too. Huh. Yeah. He'll be back, Dad, okay? still cry about this. I will cry about it for the rest of my life, Dad. Out of regret or out of sorrow? <laughs> I'm crying for you, Dad. For my little brother. For my loving family. For the land of my birth. And above all that, I cry for justice. Hmm. You know, in the last two months, I have spent hundreds of thousands of naira to track you to this room in this hotel. You know why? I felt that I should have given you a father's listening ears, which you deserve, before conquering to your banishment. We would anything, no matter how dangerous it is. This last two months, how have they been? I've been dead all the while, Dad. Dead. 
Put off your shoes and step into that circle. Change the chabab. Change the chabab. Oberofia, when you could not yet an atojo, a bay. Ogunon of ya. Okukum, Okukum, and Tinano, another Niju. Ayanafu, another Fuji. Okukumi. have in my hands the totems of the two most powerful gods in Igbo mythology. The Ofonogu, gods of justice and fair play. You have agreed to swear by them as a precondition to a return to Osara Kingdom. I must therefore warn you that Ofonogu kill the guilty if he swear falsely by them. Now, I ask you, are you going to swear by them? Yes, wise one. I absorb the entire kingdom of Ozala of the consequences of your action. If he swear by them, knowing that you are guilty. Now, before your father and leaders of Ozala Kingdom, I hand over these totems to you to swear with. That any guilty person that swears with you dies within 12 calendar months. I do not wish to die just like that if I'm guilty as charged. But at first, you feel my life with so much pains, so much hatred and disdain, so much tears and sorrows. And untold physical and emotional sufferings. But if I am innocent, if I am innocent, I do not wish for the death of the guilty. But I should make every hidden thing bare for the people to see before the next twelve calendar months. I'm not supposed to discuss this with you, Dad, but I can't help it here. That this guy I've been going out with for the past six years met in the US, but now he's back in the country practicing as a medical doctor. So I discussed the problem we're having with the Minister of Health and the state governor with him yesterday when he visited, and he opted to help us reach the minister, and in fact, 
get him to back down. Mm. Mm. Is he the minister's son or something? The younger sister is the minister's only daughter's classmate in London. And information available to me indicates that the minister wants his acts of him by the only daughter. Mm. Yeah. But she's in London. Yeah, Lawrence called her yesterday to beg her. that different has agreed to help. You are joking. <laughs> no, Dad. The girls are coming to the country for that. But they insisted we have to pay for the cost of their coming and going back. I suggest we get them first cards, ticket or something. Angel, Angel, take care of that. And that is Lawrence. You said he visited. Hmm. Is uh, is he still in in town? Yes. He's lodged in a hotel. Well, I'd like to see him before he leaves. Hmm? Okay, Dad. You? I cannot believe you went out with someone in America for six years without me knowing. You bad girl. <laughs> so you're keeping secret, huh? Lawrence, meet my father, His Royal Majesty, Igwe Ogochukwu Odibende, and my big sister, Princess Misha. Good day, Your Majesty. Good day, my princess. Dad, Michelle, here is Dr. Lawrence Chukuka, my boyfriend. Mm. You are welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. Please, sit down, sit down. You're welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. Um, Angel has told us a lot about you. She didn't tell us what you do for a living. Ah, I work at the University of Nigeria Teaching Hospital. Hmm. It must be challenging to train in the United States of America and then find yourself practicing in a developing country. It's indeed challenging, Your Majesty, especially with wide disparity in the availability of uh, requisite medical equipment. Mm. But then, uh, one has to go on. Indeed, one has to go on. It is imperative <laughs> that we go on. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, get us some more glasses. I suppose you are not uh, a person. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. No, 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 no. I think uh, we shall get on. Calm down, calm down. <coughs> calm down, what is it? Did you look at the text message I got from an unknown number this morning? <coughs> you think that by returning to Nigeria, you have escaped my rot? No way, girl. I told you that I would trace you, and once I do, you will wear sorrow like a cloak. Until I feel satisfied enough that I have avenged my friend whom you killed eight months ago. I'm not going to kill you, but anybody I see with you from now on is a dead meat. Better want people to stay clear if you don't want their blood in your hands. Jasper. Dad, I swear to you. I didn't kill anybody. I mean, I didn't know even. I can't even understand. Dad. Michelle. Don't tell me you guys already know about this. Mm. Michelle and I received the same kind of text messages. 
from one Jasper. But they're telling us to warn you, uh, to tell people around you to stay away if they want to be alive. And you didn't bother to tell me? Oh, come on, Angel. We thought it was one of those text messages, you know, that fraudsters send to scare people in order to part with money or something. Yeah, I still believe it is. Except that the monetary angle has not been introduced yet. And so I ask, did you kill? Oh, God, my God, Daddy, I'm not a murderer. God, Daddy, all my life I've never had anything to do with anybody called Jasper. Father, I'd suggest that we make these text messages public. What? Wait, you suggest we make such a silly joke public? You call a threat surrounding people around you a joke? What is silly about that? Yes, it's a silly joke. If the faceless individual wants to be taken seriously, let him come face to face or rather go public with the facts. Come on, Michelle. How many people do you think will still have the gall to associate with me? If we do as you say. Not many. I agree with Angel that we should put a lid on the text messages to the public for now. Especially since uh, Lawrence's sister and her friend are here in the country to help us intercede with the minister. I would not want anything to jeopardize that. Who are you calling? I'm trying to call the number to tell the sender to go to hell, Dad. Mm. Yeah. Don't even bother, okay? Because I've been trying all day. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Your Majesty. My princesses, this officer is here to meet you. Your Majesty. Hey, Inspector Sonny, welcome. Thank you, sir. Your Majesty, there's a disturbing development involving Princess Angel. We got a text message from a man called Jasper telling us to go and warn Princess Angel not to ever... Yeah, who is there? Room service. Okay, hold on, I'm coming. Yes, 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 I am. Yes. Alright, um, we do have a message for you from Princess Angel. Princess? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm sorry, this isn't a message. Um, Ade, please give it to her. Please don't shoot me. <laughs> don't shoot me. <laughs> Whoa! If you can pull this thing through, and you can get all our revoked contracts restored, I promise you that I will retire from the company and you and your sister to run it. Are you serious? <laughs> Don't worry, Daddy. He will help us. People have said a lot about the Minister of Health's influence on the government. Yes. The well, last time the governor almost lost his seat because he had uh, a face off with the president. He was the one who reconciled them. And he's now known as uh, his godfather. So, and I, who made both of them, I'm the one who's uh, on his knee asking for favor. Don't worry, Daddy. Everything will be fine, okay? 
and we will all smile over it again. I wonder why Lauren's sister is not here yet. I told her that I want to see her before going to Abuja with 11 a.m. flight and it's past 10 and she's not here yet. Have you bothered to call her on the phone? My phone. Yes. Igu. Yes. My yes. princess. This officer is here to see you. Your Majesty. Yes, thank you. Sir. Your Majesty. Inspector Sunny, you are most welcome. Thank you, sir. To what do we owe this visit? Sir, my DPO sent me to come and bring uh, Princess Angel to the station. Uh, please tell the DPO that uh, that is not possible today. She is quite busy. But I myself will come later and see him if the reason cannot wait until she is less busy. Your Majesty, I'm afraid she must come with me. I must come with you? For what? To answer a few questions in connection with the mother of one Miss Juliet Chukoka. What? Who was shot dead in her hotel room last night? What? And also a text message from a man called Jasper. They mean that he did it because of you. for the death of the cutie. But I should make every hidden thing rare for the people to see before the nest to have calendar months. Exactly how she swore to the gods two weeks ago. And now it's happening. So what are you insinuating? I'm not insinuating anything, Father. Okay? I mean, it is clear for us to see. The gods are punishing an angel. Michelle, the gods do not use humans to carry out their judgment. Even if they do, the gods of Anogu. The gods of justice and fair play will not kill the innocent to punish the guilty. Us, it is here. If your sister is actually uh, guilty. Okay. So, um, what in your own opinion is going on? I don't know. I don't know. But I have prevailed on the police to continue to um, hide the text messages from the public. And I want us to, to do the same. Um, the, the text messages received from one Jasper, you, I, and your sister. That this is a real threat we're talking about. A real threat to human lives. One which an innocent lady was killed last night. And only God knows how many more ought to go. Daddy, it could be you and I. Please, I beg you, let's make these text messages public. Look, with what has happened, if we do that, then your sister will become a social outcast instantly. Is that not what she swore to the gods to do to her if she's found guilty as charged? Dad, what if someone, somewhere, makes that text messages public before us? What do you think will happen to us, huh? Your reputation, our family. And will the victim's family forgive us? No! And how much do you even trust the police in this? The messages remain concealed. And that is the way I want it. And now I came actually to talk to you about uh, your sister. I need, I need your help. Is she's been crying all this time? Oh. <clears throat> um. 
sorry. Concealing the sex messages with you is the only crime I want to commit. I do not want to be part of any other thing. And um, that is final, Dad. Yeah, good day, Dad. Always looking for revenge It will never have peace and joy It's always looking to destroy I can't help her so much What a bitter heart When the heart is bitter Everyone suffers My princess, I am here to help you But as your first cousin and as an intelligence officer, you said you did not kill anyone in the United States. And you have never met anyone by name, Jasper. Okay. Uh, I have seen all the text messages sent to you people and the police. Almost all of them came from different phone numbers. As we speak now, none of the numbers is even going through. Interestingly, the four company people told me that all the text messages were sent from this kingdom and all the phone lines were purchased last week. None of them is even registered. I have gone through the list of the foreign nationals in this town and other towns within 50 kilometers radius at the immigration office. You know what? Even the newest of them arrived before you returned from America. Chica, are you saying that there is that name, Jasper, is a cover name used by someone somewhere to, to play a dirty trick on you? To me, the aim is not far from getting you depressed, suffer you emotionally, just as you're doing inside this room now, my princess. By doing just that, you are conceding victory to that bastard. And, and I think it's no good. That is no good for us, okay? Chica, right then. If this is a wicked prank like you said, then this is the most wicked kind of it in the history of man. Juliet was Lauren's younger sister. I know. Lauren's my boyfriend. How he react to this is what bothers me most. This is my lead to the end of our relationship. No, no, no. Look, I love you so much. It's okay. Your you dad told me about the relationship earlier. And because of it and avoiding public panic that could jeopardize investigation, I have already launched into the case. As I asked your dad, Mitchell, and the police people to keep every text message intact. Concealing it till the wicked, devilish culprit is arrested. Okay? Did he agree? Well, anyhow, you look at it, my princess. With the killing of Juliet, all of them have questions to answer one by one if this goes public now. So, they don't have any choice than to play along, right? When you told my dad and Michelle your spine this so far, what was their take on it? Well, your father was sufficiently convinced just like me that the whole thing was nothing but a wicked game played by a wicked sociopath. Oh, Princess Michelle, uh, she will say something about you swearing by some Forget it is important, okay? Uh, I don't believe in such things. Hmm? Princess. But the public do, Chica. The public do. That will only become an issue if everything goes public. But trust me, it won't, okay? I'm in control. Hmm? It's okay. It's okay. Chica. Sir. You know, I never believed that you would succeed in. Uh, bringing a smile back on my angel's face. Eh? Thank you. 
Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much. She's my first cousin, Your Majesty. Besides, um, I'm only doing my job as an intelligence officer called in to investigate a crime. Um, Chica, I don't think that the continued cover-up like you suggest would be of any good to any of us in the long run. I mean, Lawrence should be brought into the picture now. He ought to know why his sister was murdered. And you, Angel, you ought to have been bold enough to tell the man you claim to love the reason why his sister was murdered, that it was all because of you. I did not cause anybody's death, Michelle. Well, remember that you swore to two strong deities and the exact word that you swore to. Michelle, I said it to you in the office this afternoon. I will say it again. The gods do not kill the innocent to punish the guilty. Thank you, Dad. Don't worry. I am on top of the situation. Right now, um, I'm coordinating my investigation with the police and food service providers. And in three days' time, two of my colleagues and experts in such crime will be joining me to work on this case. Yeah. Yeah. And I can assure you, within the next eight days or so, the wicked culprits will be arrested and exposed. Yeah. So, oh, my princess, forget about the swearing and the deities used. Even if at all they worked in the past, they do not have a space in today's modern world ruled by science and logic. Okay? So, come on. An American trained engineer. Yeah, whatever. Are you in charge of this bond? Yes, Your Highness. Then how come this thing has not been replenished? I'm sorry, Your Highness. You're sorry? I'm so hungry. Make sure they replenish immediately. Is that clear? Yes, Your Highness. You get in touch with the kitchen to, uh, to, to, to start with this. And get us more, more fishes. Yes, Your Highness. No, don't worry, my dear. That is of it. And you could always use all the whatever difference. Ah. Inspector Sonny. Your Majesty. What a pleasant visit. Not quite pleasant, Your Majesty. There's a problem. 
What is the problem, officer? About an hour ago, we, we got a, a phone call from a fast food joint. And on getting there... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What is it? No! Oh, my God, no! <laughs> How many more people will have to die before you tell the public as I told you? Now, Chika Anosike has died because of your stubbornness. Which Chika Anosike? Your niece, Her Majesty. The one that was investigating the, the text messages. And the mother of Miss Juliet. As a matter of fact, we are just coming from the mortuary where we went to deposit her corpse. Her Majesty, she was shot on the forehead, right on the doorstep of a fast food joint by unidentified men in a car. And just about 20 minutes ago, our DPO and, and both of us got text messages from Mr. Jasper claiming that he killed her because she involved herself with Princess Angel. That's right. Oh my God. What is going on for goodness sake? Dad, Ofunogu is at work. Oh, would you shut that rubbish? Your Majesty, what rubbish? My Princess, are you saying you know who is doing this? Um, not really. Um, Angel um, recently swore to um, the shrine. Don't, don't listen to her. Chika Anosike is the daughter of my eldest sister. The implications concerning her death, they're more dangerous than those of um, Juliet. I want you to bury this information. What are people's lives have been wasted here? Now will you get will you, will you keep quiet? Go inside. What? I say go inside. Your Majesty, the DPO says it will not be at the same price that we did the last one. Mm. Mm. Give you whatever your price is. Make sure you bury that information. Thank you, Your Majesty. over your cousin's own case. Why? <laughs> you won't understand. Understand. When did I stop understanding my angel's emotional needs? Oh. Is there something you're hiding away from me here? No, no, nothing. I'm not hiding anything. Sure. It's alright, you have to dry your eyes, okay? I don't like it when you cry like this. It's okay, just dry your eyes, okay? Dry your eyes. Dry your eyes. Okay, I'm fine, okay? I'm fine. Please go see my dad. It's alright. Just be strong for me, okay?
God's sake, Angel. You're not being... Please. Please. I mean, I'm a human being, but not a stone. All people say, all people say they find out that I'm hanging out with my boyfriend a few hours after his first cousin of mine was murdered by Ambrose. Oh God, I'm not very sensitive, please. Honey, listen to me. I understand you're depressed by the news, but sticking to your normal life schedules and doing them boldly is the fastest way out of this mood. I brought you here so you could be happy. You don't get it. Being here with you could be infuriating somebody. I mean, I could be endangering your life too. Endangering my life? How do you mean? Oh, I mean, <laughs> um, never mind. It's just a slip of the tongue. I mean, just like you said, I need to come to terms with what happened and um, live my normal life. Yeah. Good. And you start that by eating and enjoying this meal with me. Allow my love and the joy we find in each other's company to heal your pains. You know, we're fine. I love you, baby. There is more to the recent murders of Ms. Juliet Chukuka and Agent Chika Nosike than the public know at the moment. Both were not killed by armed robbers, as the police said. The public deserve to know the truth to avoid more senseless killings of innocent citizens, simply because a big shot in the society wants his image and that of his entire family protected and has paid for it to be so. I came to you as an editor of a major newspaper to help me lay the facts bare and avoid further bloodshed because as things stand now, no one knows who will be the next to be killed. Please meet me at... Why me, Daddy? Why me? How could they publish that story, saying those terrible things about me? Oh, don't worry, my dear. Daddy will put some damage control measures in place right away. <laughs> the damage has been done, Daddy. It has been done. Whoever leaked the whole thing to the press have ruined me. Listen to me, my dear. Oh, I will use every ounce of influence I wield in this country to force that editor to recount what he wrote and publish an apology to you. Oh, I will. I will. Editor, have you ever heard the term fatal error? Because you have just committed one with that publication. You've not only destroyed this media house, but also your own life. That is a threat, Your Highness. Oh no, it is a statement. 
of fact, you urchin. The only way you can save your life is to recount that story and publish a letter of apology to me and my family. Sorry, Your Highness. There's no going back. We stand by our story. Ah. You stand by your own destruction. Oh, I promise you that I shall use every ounce of influence that I have in this country to make sure that you are not only run out of business, but out of public relevance. I swear. Was that what you used to facilitate the cover-up, Your Highness? Are you aware as we speak here, that your first daughter, Princess Michelle, is at your palace addressing newsmen, dissociating herself from the cover-up and apologizing to the public on behalf of your entire family. Are you aware of that, Your Highness? Oh, Now tell me, what the hell do you think you were doing, calling a press conference without telling me? And then dealing with, on, with a subject that concerns the family without getting my approval first? Dad, I was just trying to, you know, do some damage control. Trying to save what is left of the family's public image from, you know, backlash and... Dad, I'm, I was just trying to help, okay? Michelle. How many times will I tell you that this is just a wicked prank by a wicked soul against me? Who is more wicked than you, Angel? You have an evil soul. A girl who drugged, kidnapped, and probably murdered her own stepbrother. You are wicked. Michelle, I know nothing about what happened to you, I swear to God, I don't know. Angel. How many more people would have to die before you come out and say the truth? How many? Do you want to destroy us all? You want to destroy the kingdom? Why don't you take your miserable self and go? Pack your things and go! Shut up! Shut up! That's your blood sister for Christ's sake! God forbid that I call that evil soul my sister! A girl who has her hands so the blood of the innocent can never be my sister! this meeting we did your majesty without my express permission have you forgotten the royal law concerning convening of uh, council meetings your majesty in the heat of battle the only law that is respected is the law of survival the kingdom is now engaged in a battle of survival brought upon us by you and your household it's Rufus. shut up you are talking to the Amumana, Ewigwe, of Ozara Kingdom. The thunder and lightning has acted more like a frail old woman in the case involving Princess Angel, and that calls for concern by us, the leaders of Ozara Kingdom. So we demand that Princess Angel be banished again from this kingdom immediately. Itioji, by my authority, you are hereby stripped of all your titles and you're suspended from the council indefinitely. It's not possible. 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 It's not 
wicked murders and text messages wanted. Now tell me, when did Afonogu, the gods of justice and fair play, begin to kill the innocent to punish the guilty in this kingdom? No, the gods are not behind this. And until something else happens, I am convinced that the princess angel is innocent. Not because she is my daughter, but because the laws of logic and common sense supports what I have just said. Even if the whole world plays to the evil hands of the faceless mastermind who is behind the latest cruelties, I, Igwe Ugochuko de Bendi, the thunder and lightning of Ozara Kingdom, will not. I hereby decree that Princess Angel remains in this kingdom. That my worst fears have come. Lawrence has read the publication. He's now in town in a hotel calling me to come and see him immediately, Dad. Is that why you're shaking like a dry leaf? I mean, when you agree to a cover-up like this, what do you expect? A congratulatory phone call or a handshake? My dear, in the absence of your mother, Angel is not only your sister, but also your daughter. Try and talk to her like that for once. It's all right. It's all right, my dear. It's all right. Daddy, please, right. I need an advice before I drop dead here. It's all right. It's all right. My dear, the fear of the unknown is the worst kind of fear. And until you know how much damage it has done to your life, you will not be able to control it. So, go and see Lawrence. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. I'm scared. It's all right. Sorry. I'll give. I'll give you. I'll give you some guards. But let me assure you that the Lawrence that I saw the last time he came will not do any nonsense. Okay. Well, if only you would take my advice. Tell me, Michelle, what is it? What do I do? Leave the kingdom. Yes. I mean, that is the only thing that is right for you to do. Find this Jasper guy. Get to know whatever it is that he wants. Agree with it. 
being in exile is much more better than having more people killed. All because of what you did. For God's sake, Nishi, I've told you over and over again, I didn't cause anybody's death. I did not say that, baby sis. Come on. Mr. Jasper said that, and the text messages that we all got said that. I'm just lending my advice. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Remember what I've said. It's all right. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. secret from you, Noah. Whatever you decide to do to me now, feel no remorse in doing that. You're justified. The truth is, someone, somewhere, is making my life miserable. The person is making my life hell on earth for what I did not do. But even at that, I should have let you know of all the test messages, especially when Juliet, your sister, was murdered. Please, my love, find a place in your heart to forgive me. I'm sorry. Sure. True love should be able to face and overcome difficult situation. Please marry me. I can't. If I accept this ring, the Jasper guy will kill you. And even if he doesn't. I don't see the possibility of your family accepting me as their own. Not after what happened to Juliet. Angel, I came here from a family meeting. My parents and I believe that the so-called Jasper is a wicked joke that should be stopped by refusing to do what he expects. And this will prove to the people out there by fixing our wedding date immediately. Angel, Juliet was an innocent victim of wickedness. And I believe so very much that she should be happy if she's seen us now. Angel. Angel. Is this a joke or something? It's not a joke, Your Majesty. 
Witness the gruesome murder. Oh Lord, why? 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 Why must it be in front of this, this place I use as a house? Why? Oh God, I, I, I need to leave this place. The police might come here to arrest me and link me to the murder. I, I after murdering that young, promising young man. Look at what the message has turned your, your, your sister to. Angel. Angel, my dear. Daddy loves you. Yeah. Daddy loves you. Don't kill yourself because of this. Because if you do, then that wicked, wicked soul has won. And please, don't let him win. Don't let him win. Fight. Fight. Yes, fight to live. The wicked soul must not win. As you can see, my restaurant is an upper class restaurant, so I can't imagine someone like you working for me here. Madam, please. I am determined to give you my best. 
Give me the benefit of doubt for just a few days. I promise to work hard to meet all your expectations. Are you married? Uh, I'm asking you, are you married? Because people that work for me live here. So I don't employ married people to work in my restaurant. Okay, I'm, 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 not, I'm not married. No. So I wouldn't have any problem living here. I'm not married. All right. Um, sit down, feel the phone. They say they wouldn't attend a council meeting in this palace again. Meaning what? They say they no longer feel safe under the same roof where Princess Angel lives. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Their stand is also mine. I just came to inform you. sent by Jasper warning the others to leave. All of them, except this one with me, resigned. God, please save my family from that devil. I can't send Angel away. Not when I don't even know if Chukuma himself is dead or alive. Let her stay. Maybe if this continues and she is indeed guilty, she might one day be forced to confess and tell us what happened to my son or where he is. Yes, that was why I traced her and brought her back.
Are you alright? Chuka, right? Yes, Chuka, Your Majesty. Uh, how is she? She's fine. Just in shock. Now, to tell me what exactly happened. Uh, your Majesty, people ran away on seeing her in a restaurant where I work. And then I noticed she was having difficulty driving her car. And I pleaded with her to allow me to drive her back home. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, please, take this little sum for transport. And, uh, no, uh, please. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. And, thank you, Your Majesty. Um, I plead with you not to allow her drive in her present condition. Right. Right, uh, yes. Thank you, son. Bless you. You're welcome, my stick. Thank you. Chica, where are you coming from? I helped a customer with some emotional problem back home. You call uh, Princess Angel a customer with some emotional problem? Choka. I know you came in from Inugu, and you're too poor to buy even a newspaper, not to talk of a radio to listen to news. But Choka, did you ask those that run away from her why they do so? Huh? Mr. Good Samaritan, did you? No, ma. Choka, Princess Angel is a working evil. Because anybody that is seen close to her becomes a target for assassination. Or do you want to be shot dead? Uh, God forbid, ma. God forbid, ma. Then you better run away from her whenever you see her. I know with your looks and everything, you're too poor to be associated with people's problems. I'm sorry, ma. Better be sorry for your miserable self. And by the way, who taught you how to drive? Uh, an old friend of mine. <laughs> Touch out to drive. Get out. I'm the restaurant waiter that held Princess Angel back home last week. Oh, you are welcome. You are welcome. Uh, I've been kind of worried about her, so I, I thought it wise to come see her, Your Majesty. Thank you. Most thoughtful of you. Father, who is this? This wretched guy. Don't mind her language. We have a crisis. You know, the driver I employed to drive Angel around after the last incident got killed yesterday. Oh, yes. And uh, I assigned my own personal guard to drive her this morning. And uh, that, that one dropped the key instantly and used some language that has upset Angel. 
Very much. Oh, okay, um, where is she now, Your Majesty? Oh, she's in her room upstairs. Um, would you permit me to go talk to her? Hey, 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 Mr. Um, restaurant waiter. Why don't you look around here and know and realize that the situation does not belong to a low class like you? And why don't you go back to that slavery you call work? Michelle, would you talk like a princess for once? I'm sorry, Dad. I have to go back <clears throat> to the office. You. It is a cowardly way of facing a problem. Don't! Please leave me. Let me end this emotional torture. I don't have any other option. Of course you do. You are just not seeing the options. Which other options? My princess, they abound outside these walls. Outside these walls is full of misery for me. Friends, relatives, and even strangers. They all run away and see me because they think they will be killed if they are seen around me. Well, except me. Because I, I do not believe such. You know nothing about me, my friend. Of course I do. My princess, I was told everything about you the day I brought you back from the restaurant. I believe those killings have nothing to do with you. They are just some, some huge prank by some wicked soul somewhere. People have sounded the way you have sounded in the past. They talked me into allowing them close to me. They were all killed a few days later. I beg you, my news. Please go away and let me end everything now. Please. My princess. I also beg you on my knees. Allow me to help you, please. Give me, no, 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 give, give me, give me this, please. Please give it to me before you hurt yourself. Give me, give me, give me. My princess, allow me to help you the much I can. You can't help me. I can help you, I believe I can help you. This is just a feeling. This is just a feeling. No. My princess, it is not a feeling. Allow me to help you. My princess, whoever is doing this, this, this wicked prank, whoever is doing it, he just wants you to be stigmatized, to wallow in self loathing and perhaps kill yourself. That is not what you should do, my princess. Listen. To fight evil, 
You need to stand up against evil. Go out there and live your normal life. You don't understand. My life can never be normal again. No, no, no. Don't say that. Of course it can be. You just have to try. All right? Give it a try. My princess, look at me. Look at me. Please. Let me take you to your office. That is where you should be by this time of the day. Not, not here. Not in this room, locked up all alone here, contemplating suicide. No. Welcome, my princess. And don't forget what I told you about how to stop evil. Just go into your office and be very brave. Right? I'll come back in the evening to take you back home. God bless you. All right. Here you go. everywhere that you go. No, worst still, having more people kill all because of you is the best thing for you, like, like that charlatan said. Do you think that's the best for you? I don't know what to believe anymore, Michelle. Maybe he was right. Maybe he was wrong. But as he rightfully said, if I didn't leave my room when I did, it would have been suicide. And I wouldn't want to do that because it will hurt daddy. Who has shown me so much love and understanding in all this. Angel. Angel, you are putting too much emotion into this. You're not being realistic here. What's to do, Michelle? Oh. I, um, okay. I was just trying to be a sister. Can you just allow me to explain? It's not what you think, madam, please. Keep your serious position to yourself. I employed you here out of pity, but it's obvious you want to die. You've chosen to die, so go out in the street and die where you belong. Madam, please, I don't have anywhere else to go to. Don't, don't do this to me. I, 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 if I come back and see you here, I'll call the police to arrest you as you stand to death in the cell. I don't want to see you here.
and homeless again. This is 200,000. Please use it and sort yourself out. Please. Sort myself out. Yes. Look, if Omar was right, you're endangering your life by getting close to me. Oh, my princess. For the second time today, I am begging you to allow me to help you. If I endanger my life in the process, then so be it. Let me help you, please. Joker, if you die trying to help me, I won't survive it. Now tell me, what would be the use of the sacrifice I'm begging to make for me if it ends up in the death of the first? And what if it ends the other way around? That's just a wishful thinking, Chuka. No, it is not wishful thinking. You know, the most successful realists in history are those that dream dreams as well. If I'm dreaming, believing I can be of help to you, then by all means, my princess, dream along with me. The resolution to this nightmarish episode might well lie in such dreams. Yes. You had never met my daughter until that fateful day in your restaurant. Yet, the moment she had problems, you were there. And you decided you were going to help her. Not even after you have been told the risk of associating with her. You persisted and you took care of her until she regained her health and her concentration. I thank you. May the gods continue to bless you. You've given me back my daughter. I love her very much. And anyone who loves the one I love will always see the soft side of Ever. Always. I'm sorry in the process of helping my daughter, you lost your job. Thank you, Amos. I have never denied my daughter anything in all our life. Now, she said uh, we should offer you a job. And we say to you, uh, consider yourself a staff of uh, Skyline Holdings with immediate effect. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> Um, take him to the boys' quarters, give him the best there, and settle him down. And I'll see you later. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. A few days after the engagement party, he was shot dead in front of an uncompleted building along Ipoko Street in Enugu. And text messages sent, were sent to me, the police and the press saying he was killed because of me. Wait. Did you say he was shot dead in front of an uncompleted building along Ipoko Street in Enugu? Yes. A few days after that, one of our domestic staff was shot dead and... Excuse me. You're not listening to me again. I'm... I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening. Um, our food is here. Let's eat and continue the story later. Hello. <laughs> this 
So that was what that cold-blooded murder was all about. Definitely the American connection by all I have heard was just a cover being used by a wicked and smart criminal somewhere to perpetrate such heinous crimes against an innocent, fragile lady like her. But who could be behind it and why? I know it's dangerous to stick around her, but someone has to take some risks to end the madness. And with what I witnessed that day, I think that person is me. Of course I can tell her what I saw now because that could make me a suspect in the end, having no information as it is about the murderers. Oh God, please help me to help her without losing my life in the process. Yeah, no, 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 no. What are you doing here? Excuse me, am I talking to a log of wood? What are you doing there? Uh, you're finally here, my princess. We're actually here to see you. See me? For what? I'm sorry, your personal secretary was shot dead this morning on her way to work. Believe me, my princess, His Majesty, Princess Michelle and I will do anything to protect you. We will always be there for you, even if the whole... I would if you would just shut up. If you don't have anything to say, why don't you just leave? You, you yourself will, if you continue to let your mouth run riot. That this homeless buffoon here has been responsible for all the innocent killing that has been going on. If he has not been advising Princess Angel to keep coming out, knowing who she is, all of this would have stopped. With her death or with what? Whatever that. Whatever. Wasn't she aware of the consequences of what she was doing when she swore to the guts to make her life miserable if she's found guilty? Wasn't she? Dad, please send Bisha out before I drop dead this minute. Oh, that would have been better. Because you are not better than those innocent lives that have been wasted daily. No, it's true what Juka said. We are going to stick by you, rain or shine. Why me, Daddy? Why me again? Why you? My princess. I have asked the same question all my life. And the answer is hard, if not impossible to come by. But believe me, my dear. We all have inherent abilities to change our situations to better ones. With just some little positive thoughts and actions. Joker. No such abilities mean anymore. No, don't say that, my, my dear, don't say that. No. Look at me, look at me. It is there. Alright? It is there and you all you have to do is search, look deep and find it. It is there. How far has the police gone in their investigations? I mean, from what angle are they approaching the issue? Mm -hmm. It appears that uh, Angel is not the only one stigmatized in this. The police have now accepted that um, Jasper is real, but impossible to catch. So they've been trying to avoid us, out of fear. And the uh, 
Newspapers? <laughs> they have not helped matters with their sensational reportage. Yes, yes, yes. What do you want? Uh, Your Majesty. All the members of staff are demanding that you stop Princess Angel here from coming to the office premises immediately. Are you out of your mind? Your Majesty, I... I... Now get out! I said get out! I suggest you go. Dad, I'm going nowhere. I will stay around that weather this time. I mean, I can't continue living like a ghost each time the sociopath out there strikes. I must have to. Dad, your manager, we, your managers, are here to tender the mass resignation of all the workers in our different departments. We cannot work with Princess Angel anymore. Well, um, <clears throat> ladies and uh, gentlemen, I want you to listen Wait very... Wait and... You people are doing this because of me, right? Okay. I quit. No, no. Angel, you cannot quit. No. Your Majesty. This is my commitment. Gentlemen, ladies. I understand your fears. Can we reach some form of compromise here? She stays and everyone stays. No member of staff wants to walk with you, says Angel again, Mr. Chuka. Okay, all right, fine. Can you, can you work with me? I'll be the middle point between members of staff and the princess. Anyone who wants to do anything with her office will pass through me and the other way around. How about that? Um, we will have to consult our colleagues, then we'll get back to you. I never dreamt it would come to this. Chuka, if they reject this deal, then I will be on the verge of losing my life's dream. Dad, I will never allow my personal problem to ruin you. You don't deserve it. My princess, do you deserve what has been happening to you? Maybe. My dear, no one deserves life's cruelty. Nobody. Your Majesty, it should be that. Please, I need both of you to be as calm as possible before them. I will take care of everything. Jim. Yeah. yeah. Where are the others? Your Majesty. Um, they are back in their offices. Your deal is accepted. Oh, 
Thank you. <laughs> oh, look. Whatever. Whatever you want. Just tell me. And it's yours. Anything. Thank you, Your Majesty. You are most welcome. Uh, one more thing. Yes. I will need some form of protection. Uh, you want me to make some calls? No, no, no. Your Majesty, I... I have a plan. Are you sure? Yes. But, Chuka, don't you think you need some kind of monetary... Don't worry. I have a plan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. In a nutshell, officer, what I'm saying is that I don't need you guys with me physically wherever I am. I only need you around the perimeter and well hidden. So, how do we protect you from a distance? Good. Well, it took me quite some time to come up with this, but I have a plan. Sorry, I called you out of your office. Can I talk to you on personal terms? Well, go ahead. Okay. Why are you endangering your life like this? I mean, why are you sticking out your neck for Princess Angel? Well, because I know that if I were in her shoes, someone else would do the same for me. We all need help sometimes, don't we? No, <laughs> no, Chuka. The rich do not care about such philosophies, especially when the poor like you are involved. You are taking a big risk for someone who doesn't know whether you exist or not. I advise you to get out of this place. Go and enjoy your life elsewhere. Well, take my own advice, Elvis. Forget about me and what I do with my life. Well, if you say so. But go dig as dig where they will be alive to enjoy it when they find it. Not where they will be killed in the process. Oh, really? And is that what you are doing working in Skyline Holdings, Elvis? Digging gold, huh? Please try and come out on time tomorrow. Yes, my pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Michelle. Angel. What do you mean if you come out on time tomorrow? Where is he taking the car to? To his house. That's street urchin? Where is his house? Well, that got him a well furnished flat and he has moved in. From a homeless rat to a flat owner. Oh wow, that's a miracle. Hmm. So, where is his house? I'm too tired, Michelle. I need a shot. A bitter heart lost in sorrow. A bitter heart can never forgive. A bitter heart can never change. Always looking for revenge. It will never have peace and joy. It's always looking to destroy. The heart is beaten, everyone will suffer. What a bitter heart. Hey, hey. 
Okay. Someone is looking gorgeous. Going somewhere. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going for a dinner. Dinner? But dad didn't tell me we're having any. Well, that's because it's not a family dinner. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so, who are you having dinner with? <laughs> oh my god. I'm having dinner with the only guy that is man enough to take me around in recent days. And Joe don't tell me it's sugar. What if it's sugar? Are you crazy? Are you, are you having amnesia or something? How can you stoop so low as to go out with a low life like Chuka? Uh, what's his background? His social standard or whatsoever? What? Well, if you must know, Big Sis, I didn't just accept to die with him. I fixed it myself. Okay, I think you're crazy. Is that a way of this? Good night, Michelle. Angel. <laughs> Angel. Angel. Come back here before you make the grand mistake of your life. Sometimes I wonder where I would have been if you hadn't come into my life when you did. And I never believed in second chances. Well, maybe that's because you are not a believer. And you talked me into believing. <laughs> You're such a misery to me. Looking at you, listening to you talk. The picture I get is that of an intelligent, well-refined, and an educated gentleman. A far cry from the village boy you told people that you are. Mm. Well, sometimes fools talk wisely. So, maybe I'm just a wise talking fool. Come on! <laughs> Don't be too harsh on yourself. You know, Life is raw torture, unless it has a purpose. And until one finds out why he is alive, the reason for being alive, he is just a slave of fate. Chuka, for once, do away with philosophy and talk to me in plain language. You're my trusted friend. Tell me about yourself, please. Six years ago, my father was forcefully deprived of his biggest farmland, along with a palm plantation in the land by a very rich lawyer in my village. He tried fighting back through the law and was unjustly detained in a prison cell for 18 months. He came out a hypertensive patient and spoiling for revenge. In order to do that, he started selling off our remaining lands so he could send me to the university to study law. I am his only child. Six months ago, he sold the only remaining piece of land and gave me the money so I could sponsor my final year thesis. That was exactly what I did. He told me he did that because I promised him that when I graduate, I was not only going to get back his land from that wicked lawyer, I will also buy him more lands than he ever sold to see me through school. But a few weeks later, 
while I was writing my degree exams. Tragedy struck. His name is Edgar Harrison, son of a frontline politician, a notorious cultist, my course mate and roommate too. This morning we have a very important exam to write, but last night, instead of preparing for it, Edgar had gotten himself so drunk that he drove me out of our hostel room at gunpoint for daring to advise him. Chuka, why are you running away? Come on, hear me out. Chuka, I'm really sorry about what happened last night. I don't know what came over me. Alcohol. Alcohol, that's what came over me. Chuka, whatever it was that was controlling me last night, pulling a gun on you was a silly thing to do. You are my roommate for crying out loud. I'm sorry. Are we pals again? That's why I'm now your roommate, huh? Do you know where I slept last night, Edgar? Do you know? Chuka, I'm very sorry. It will never happen again. Promise me you'll not do what you did again. I promise it will never happen again. I cross my heart. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I know you believe you again. I don't believe you. Chuka, I'm sorry. Okay? Are you sure? That's my word of honor. Okay? Come on. Chop knuckle. Come on. All right, I'll, I'll take your word for it. I don't know that one. Shake. See the handshake I know. That's my man. Um, Chuka, I reserved two seats for the both of us in the examination hall. I would like the both of us to sit together during the exam today. All right, that's okay. I, um... Keep this wallet for me. Come on, keep it. What's in it? What else, Chuka? What do you put in a wallet, if not money? Come on, put it in your pocket fast. I don't want any of my friends to come here and say it. If they see it, whether the money is with you or with me, does it make a difference? My friends will never stop pestering me until we finish it on alcohol in Biapala joints off campus. I don't want a repeat of what happened last night till after the exams. And when will you be needing it? I'll be needing later just to buy my food. Keep it. Let's go. Exam starts in a few minutes. Yeah, it starts. Should I come back? Halfway into the examination, Edgar demanded that I give him the wallet. I asked him why. He threatened to tear my answer sheet if I didn't give him the wallet. Now, if you knew Edgar very well, you will not argue with him. As I was about giving him the wallet, the examiner, Dr. Mireille, came in and saw me, and immediately, Edgar withdrew his outstretched hand and concentrated on his work as if he was never with me. The examiner asked me the content of the wallet. I told him exactly what Edgar told me, but I received the biggest shock of my life when I saw the actual content of the wallet. Tiny pieces of papers containing most of the answers to the questions in that same examination. I was devastated. Edgar completely denied everything. I tried and begged him, but instead he threatened to harm me should I mention his name in connection with the case. Convinced, Dr. Mireille sent me out of the examination hall. 
I then followed him to his office and continued begging him. Sir, please. Please, you need to believe me. Everything I got told you was a big lie. Mr. Honesty, you told me that the wallet I caught you with contained cash. But tell me, which country's currencies are these? Look at it. Tell me. Look. Which country's currencies are these? How could you, Chuka? How could you, of all people, eh? a first class material? What in God's name put this in your head, this behavior in your examinations? Tell the truth, is that? For some reason, I can't figure out why this is happening. Believe me, sir. That guy is setting me up, sir. You know me. You know I do not cheat in examinations. You know me. It's only my character. Look, look, Chuka. It's not about me or what I think about you anymore. It's about what university's examination ethics panel will make of the whole affair. Look, Chuka. I caught you with a wallet in your hands, not in your pocket where wallets are kept when not needed. Sir. So I, I was about giving the wallet to Edgar on his request when you saw me. I, I don't know why he's doing this. Only Edgar knew the content of the wallet before then. You know this, oh please. Chuka, you're a liar. Leave my office now. I'm disappointed in you. I don't want to see you, your face around me Chuka. ever again. Get out. You know me. Get out, Chuka. Get out of my office. Nonsense. The university's stand on being caught cheating in examinations in one's final year is outright expulsion. Being a notorious cultist, Edgar and his friends forced some of my classmates and lecturers, including Dr. Murray, to testify against me. His father bribed the school authorities to take Edgar's own side of the story and never to listen to me. And that was it. I was expelled from the university. When I got home and broke the news to my parents, my father, my father had a heart attack instantly and died right in my arms. God of mercy. After his burial, I could have faced my heartbroken mother. Neither could I stand the sight of my father's grave, which was always the first thing I see each time I woke up and stepped outside. My father's Portrait in the living room seemed to be asking me why each time I looked there. <sighs> Two weeks gone, Ben. I had enough. I called my mother and I apologized to her for the thousandth time. And then I told her I was leaving the village. That was how I found myself in any good doing. Menial jobs. emotional with me come on and stop being skeptical with me please a while ago you told me about the essence of life 
the reason for one being alive. We both live to find each other. And that's the essence of our lives. The reason for all we've been through individually. Forget about social backgrounds. It doesn't matter. What matters is us. I love you, Chuka. Wait, 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 The fact is that there was no way I could have told anybody that I witnessed the murder of Lawrence without putting myself in trouble. Since I failed to report the incident to the police immediately, and I didn't know who the culprits were. It was when Princess Angel told me her story three weeks ago that I realized the reason for the senseless killings. And from that day, I vowed to put an end to this, no matter what it takes, even if it means losing my own life. I said I was going to do it, to put an end to the madness and to clear her name once and for all. So you're telling me that those people that turned my life into a living hell are now in police cell? Yes, my dear. Yeah. <laughs> Inspector Sun, Majesty, I want those wicked criminals punished like no other criminal has been punished before in history. So, officer, you mean there's no name yet? They're not talking yet, but I assure you one thing. Before noon tomorrow, that's after their interrogation, I'll come out with something, something positive. I don't think those guys in your police cell are the only ones behind this mayhem. They might be working for somebody, and if so, I want the person exposed as soon as possible. Wow. So you mean this Jasper name is an ox after all? Good Lord, people are wicked, very, very wicked. Angel, look, I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry for not being understanding and encouraging enough. Please forgive me. I'm very sorry. Officer, please, after you're done with the interrogation of the criminals and the arrest of the mastermind behind this, we would like to, we would like to have a press conference to address this. 
my sister here has gone through a lot from the public and the public has been misinformed about her. Mm. We need to address this issue. Yeah. Enough is enough. Cheers. Cheers again. Drink. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers again. Yeah. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> oh. Speed long, may your days be long.